big ass fake titties nose beers what's going on guys there's a ch from homebrew for life ready Let's oh go. yeah oh you're filming yeah oh. well here we go Hey, what's going on guys? CH Homebrew for Life. Today we got all the homies over. We're gonna figure out how to check our catalytic converters on our check hey, engine dude. lights on our, what's up? We're a beer channel. What the fuck are you talking about right now? We're supposed to be talking about beer. Oh yeah. <laughs> another day, another dollar. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And today we're gonna make beer battered corn dogs. Cornbread? Corn dogs. Today we're gonna make beer battered corn dogs. Hanging 20 with Spuds Hanging 20 with Spuds McKenzie. Hanging 20 with Spuds McKenzie. Do you have time to talk about your Lord and Savior? You wanna see an unboxing video? Check it out. They're all the same. Here's what's in every unboxing video. It's exactly the thing that you fucking bought, some excess packaging, and some instructions that come with it. No bad hangovers? Oh, I'm super hungover. Oh, you are? It's very rich and compelling with more notes of, with more <laughs> hints of rich. Mmm. <laughs> it's lustful and forgiving. Reminds me of my uh, biological stepdad. Testicles, spectacles, walk Perfect. and watch. Cheers to eating good and hooking up with dudes. Are you sick of buying more yeast packets than you need? Do you want to go skinny dipping with me right now? Bring your dad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh it's hot out here. <laughs> I like them. I like the branding, the clear glass bottle. Today I'm Trent. Today I'm <laughs> No, I'm Trent. Okay. <laughs> Pizza waffles. Mother Nature's most powerful aphrodisiac. Mmm. With uh, strong notes of uh, prenuptial agreement. Okay. I only go to Northern Brewery. Say that again. I only go to Northern Brewery. No, say it again. I only go to northernbrewer.com. <laughs> and if you buy it through the link, you will help me financially. Help pay for my upcoming surgery. I'm getting a penis reduction. Ooh. Got a little like vertigo going on with this. <laughs> Some boring beer in my opinion. How's the audio? Is the audio on? Hey, you're good. Hey, sit. All right, we're gonna go with this one first because I'm left-handed and I don't know. I don't check my Instagram all that much. So, uh, yeah. Someone like oatmeal over my ribs. Hungry man, like twelve. Today we do vegan ribeye sous vide. <laughs> All right, get off your Instagram. No one gives a fuck that you went to the gym today. You're a grown ass man. Pay attention. When you're watching Homebrew for Life, you're at our dinner table. <laughs> Say something. Well, pasta. Pasta. Young Tyrese McAllister V. And again, I, literally, if this video did not work, I'd be back on Instagram posting selfies to overcompensate for my small penis. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? It matter because it'd still give you the disease if it was. Oh yeah, that's not gonna make the cut. That might make the outtake. That's gross. <laughs> it's like watermelon bubble delicious gum. I don't know about that. And found some tradespeople. We have Kellogg Plumbing. He's based out of Vista. Damon Kellogg is the man. <laughs> he stuck with us the whole time. Uh, we had, you know, just brought in these tradespeople that. What are you fucking doing? Hold up, dude. Just worshiping Satan? I like pickles too. Why don't we just make a pickle beer? Oh my god, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> And if you go to Northern Brewer and type in promo code H4L, 
They'll charge you triple. Maury's not here today. He actually died. His hair, silver. And he looks like absolute garbage. So he's gonna take the week off and stand in the corner, face the wall, but the show's gotta go on. So we wanna like film it from over here. I will love the feet is great. And I am a hallelujah. After you're done with your NBC, <laughs> after you're done chugging a beer, uh, the next part is you've got to you got to hear a joke. Look at this, man. This is the shit that killed Elvis right here. Look at that. Who is kidding who? Is that zooming in? And if you subscribe now, you'll save five dollars on Pornhub Premium. Yeah, yeah, just pretty much another angle. Hallelujah. All right, are we, are we ready? Are me, are me and Mori evenly in frame? Did you hear? I can't do it, man. <laughs> I can't do it. Yes. What's up, High five, Cam. High five, Cam. Did you get Lisa's second chance brew code? Yeah. So we've been here the whole time. We've been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm touching. Deep frying. Deep frying. Well, I mean, the oil is there. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Xbox 360. No. Been looking for that. Save that for later. You gonna do it? Ready? Hey, you gonna live to tell about it? <laughs> Dude, you're fucking dead, man. <laughs> now put it back in Trevor's. It's pretty good. It tastes like corn. Today we're gonna try your mo <laughs> Starts. Cracking beers? Cracking beers. Beer shot! Hi, my name is Phil. Uh, most of my friends call me Big Phil. Let me put on lipstick. <laughs> it's called chapstick. Swept or mopped, huh, Dennis? Oh, yeah. We, we have a P.O. box. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> well, good for you, dude. We have a P.O. box. Egg wash. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> Like you guys good man. Cheers, eating good and drinking good. <laughs> That's a cut. Um, <laughs> you uh, beautiful, beautiful gardens. I actually used to uh, fertilize my, or I, I used to, I used to dethatch my lawn with uh, old, old cases of Miller Lite and things that people would yeah. at my house. For yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot, it's got a lot of nitrates in it, a lot of amino acids, a lot of uh, vitamin uh -huh. B, and uh, and I talked about that last night. I've got a buddy, I've got a lot of buddies who do those overnight fishing stuff, and when they come back, there's always like, there he is. Is that a blunt? Is that a B legit? You sure that's no. full of fish and there's you know some blood and guts or whatever? They throw them in their garden because it's like the natural source to pretty much fish fertilizer and it's just packed with so much nitrogen that he's like, I've never had um, more beautiful roses in my garden than a uh, fish blood. Wow. Gut Dude. wrench. What does everybody do with their spent grains? I have a crazy spent grains, grain story, but I just have to throw mine out. That's a good question though. What does everybody do with their spent grains? I want to know. I used to, um, I, I used to, well, I still have a composter uh, bin that you can throw stuff in, but it got contaminated with some fungus from some tree nearby, and it's and that happens forever fast. Faded. That happens so fast. I, yeah, so I quit using that tumbler, and now I just dump my spent grains in the corner of my garden until they cool down, and they rake them in, um, and they just, they just meld into the soil eventually. I mean, it takes a, a month or two, but... <laughs> Yeah, it takes some rain and uh, some monsoon, but it happens eventually. Jacqueline, I have chickens that love them. Yeah, if you have livestock, I know pigs will love the shit out of it, the crap out of it, literally. But uh, when I was working at breweries back in back in my prime, back in my heyday, we would have farmers pick it up, and they would just you you know you have to have the right come and the right guy come and pick up a ton of pounds of grain. But you know maybe four or five times a year they'd bring us back a pig and we could have a giant pig and it would be delicious. And uh, it's just different if you're a home brewer, you know, if you want to make dog treats, you really don't need that much. If you've got a farm, it's going to be worth it. Chickens love it, pigs love it. Um, Dave Dempster says compost. Jules Game Art, what's up, Raj? If you have chickens and you freeze the grain, it's a nice treat on a hot summer day. That's why I love YouTube, because you learn more from the chat as with I do from the Homebrew for Life videos, 
than you can sometimes from the actual video because nobody knows everything. I don't care if you've been brewing for 20 years or you're an extract brewer or you know, you've got a $25,000 system. You don't know everything. And one little comment could you know, have be a skill that you could have for life or just alter some way you did it. And that goes for even outside of you know, home brewing or something you see oil change or mechanic stuff and you're just like damn the guy in the comment section just like knew what he was talking about wow <laughs> my pigs see, love spent grain yeah i see brian uh, said he leaves it in his basement overnight he's what <laughs> i've actually uh brian said he, he leaves his spent grains in the uh well he it's like don't don't leave it in your house overnight yeah I actually, I, i've actually done that when i had a late night brew night or something i was too tired to, uh, to go out in the dark and try to dump them somewhere yeah i would just leave it in my garage even but even in the morning it's, you come out here and it's already fermenting or something already it smells this rank oh yeah it's not good i got a really weird story so when i remember the home depot mash tongue coolers like the 10 gallon ones mm -hmm. so the lids don't seal airtight they get snug but i remember i this was probably years ago and i left all of the grain in the mash tun and i put the lid on it and i got probably drunk that day and i forgot that i just assumed it was clean or whatever and i for whatever reason it sat in my garage for about a week with spent grain when i came back and i opened up the lid i saw a million of those small little meal worms in there and i saw them moving and i just took off running like my first instinct was like was that a snake or like what the fuck? and i just ran i came back and i was like how did those get there there's like a little bit of sunlight or there's no sunlight. There's just a little bit of oxygen that can get in here. How were, how did worms come from this flies? I don't know. I mean, abracadabra, I, I, there was like a million of them, like from Friday the 13th when they dig up a grave and there's mealworms going through the skull and stuff like that. It was like that. And I was like, holy shit. That was the most scared I've ever been. That's pretty probably. Freaky, right? Yeah. That's but so like nasty where the hell black soldier flies love spent grains okay they are beneficial flies that actually repel the flies we all hate i think trent's yeah. drinking a snapple right now and that was under the the cap <laughs>